most dangerous situations anyone working with electricity faces is an arc flash. An arc flash is an explosive release of energy from an electrical arc when the electrical current passes through ionized air. In less than a second, an arc flash is initiated from a phase to ground or a phase to phase fault. It can result from accidental contact with the electrical systems, the buildup of conductive dust, corrosion, dropped tools, or improper work procedures. The plasma arc has a virtually unlimited current carrying capacity once it's established. The energy of an arc flash converts primarily to heat and light. Within a millisecond, temperatures at the epicenter of an arc flash can reach 35,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's four times hotter than the surface of the sun. These high temperatures are capable of explosively vaporizing metals such as aluminum and steel. The presence of copper can help sustain the plasma arc, causing a single phase arc to propagate into a three phase arc. The arc blast that closely follows is a dynamic pressure wave created by the instantaneous expansion of gas. The pressure wave can cause panels to rupture, create flying debris, acoustic injuries, and physical trauma. An arc flash lasts until the overcurrent protective devices open the circuit. A fast-acting fuse may open the circuit in several milliseconds, or a circuit breaker may operate within six cycles or less, but by that time, the damage has already been done. You might think that these are isolated or infrequent events, but that's not the case. Industry sources estimate that in the U.S., five to ten arc flash accidents occur each day. The U.S. Bureau of Labor reported that in one recent year, a thousand electrical workers suffered shocks and burns, some fatal. It is estimated that 50 percent of these injuries were related to arc flash. ...designed and manufactured to meet the challenges of today's modern convenience store fueling stations. The attendant and attendant to fire suppression systems help protect your investment and customers around the clock. Both the attendant and attendant to fire suppression systems offer solutions to address the unique hazards found at outdoor fueling areas. The original attendant system is uniquely suited to meet the needs of open air or existing canopy installations. The dry chemical cylinders are installed underneath the canopy, above the pump station, for convenience and full protection. The Attendant 2 system, designed for modern installations, has dry chemical cylinders and piping installed on top of the canopy, concealed from view. Nozzles are mounted flush to the bottom of the canopy and give the system a clean, finished look. Each discharge nozzle has a protective cap this prevents contamination of the nozzle opening, ensuring a clear path for the dry chemical should a system discharge be required. There are many factors that could cause a fire in a fueling station environment, but one stands out more than all the rest, static electricity. Naturally occurring, it can cause an incident at any time. When fire breaks out, the fire suppression system actuation is initiated either by the thermal electric heat detectors located below the canopy or by use of the manual pull station. The manual pull station allows an individual to actuate the system manually from a safe, remote location. Either action triggers the releasing panel alarm, warning you and your customers. Simultaneously, a fuel pump shutoff switch is activated to discontinue the fuel supply. Once system actuation is initiated, the fire release panel sends a signal to the electric control head connected to the nitrogen gas cylinder. The solenoid within the electric control head causes the release of a pin that punctures the small CO2 cartridge. CO2 pressure opens the valve to the actuation cylinder, releasing compressed nitrogen throughout the piping network to the dry chemical storage cylinders. The compressed nitrogen actuates the storage cylinders, which in turn discharge dry chemical agent onto the fire through nozzles designed for maximum coverage. Tested to reach the fire source in an outdoor environment, both attendant systems quickly flood the protected area even in windy conditions up to 10 miles per hour, a requirement of UL-1254. The fire hazard is quickly suppressed, helping to prevent further damage. With careful planning and applying what you've learned here today, you can reduce them. <laughs>
Wow.